Hello. Paul and Pauline here, and we're sitting in the car at the medical centre in Orkinflower in Brisbane because Pauline's going to have some eye tests done today. And we pray that her eyes will be looked after very well by the ophthalmologist. But we had a bit of time, so we thought we'd sit and be patient and share some scriptures about patience. And the first one comes from Romans 12, verse 12, which says, Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation and be constant in prayer. So Paul knew that we needed to learn how to cope with tribulation. And when we're thinking eternally, we know that at the end of our journey, we, if, we, if we hang on to our faith, we live in hope, we're expecting to be in eternity with him and the Lord Jesus Christ. So we need to be patient as we go through the tribulation. And there's not too many people that die without going through some sort of tribulation. So here we're encouraging us. Rejoice in hope. We're so happy that we do have a hope given to us by the blood of our Lord. And he says, be patient in tribulation. Just imagine those people who were persecuted for their faith. They were executed, they were burnt at the stake, they were thrown over cliffs. And even Jesus was almost thrown over a cliff and he slipped away through the crowd. But eventually he was crucified. And imagine the patience and the, in the tribulation that he had held on. He endured the cross so that we might be set free and have a relationship with God and be with him into eternity. It's amazing. The second verse is Romans 8.25. But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. And I heard a story this morning about a man who went to heaven and, and talked to an angel. He said, how, is, how do you feel that believers come into glory and have a higher ranking than angels. And the angel spoke to him and said, oh, that's how it should be. Because they have endured, they lived by faith, they didn't see where they were going, but they lived by faith. They, they deserve to be of a higher ranking than angels when they get to glory. Because they had, they had a hope for what they did not see and they waited for it with patience. Hallelujah. Get Pauline to read another two verses here. Reading from Ephesians 4, verse 2. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. And 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant. So when we love one another, all those qualities are in love. Patience and no envy and not boasting or arrogant. Hallelujah. And in, in Galatians, we talked about the fruit of the Spirit. And they are, is the fruit of the Spirit is love. That's number one. Then there's joy and peace and patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness and self-control. So we have, we have this gift of the Holy Spirit, which is patience. How good it is that if we walk with the Lord and if we walk in the Spirit, we will be able to have patience. Amen. Why don't Amen. you get into the Word? And let the Word of God get into you. We're going to be very patient now and wait for the doctor's room to be open for us. See you later. Bye. Bye.